Hello, it's Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic, and today I wanted to give you a quick preview of my little Cricut corner. And the reason I thought I'd do this is Official Cricut recently tagged me on their Instagram, it was amazing. So what I wanted to do today was just show you a little bit of my Cricut organisation and hopefully it will inspire you and give you some ideas yourself. So let's have a look at my Cricut space. So this is my little Cricut corner, and this is just to the left-hand side of my desk, so it's nice and handy. And before we start, I just want to say I'm recording this on my iPhone, so hopefully it's not too wobbly for you and the sound quality is okay. The thing I just wanted to say was I'll quickly touch on the products that I've got here. So these set of drawers are from IKEA, the Alex drawers, and I just used two of these particular drawers for Cricut stuff, which you'll see in a second. This tall cupboard at the side is also IKEA. This is a Calax unit. Pegboard in the background, that's also IKEA. Now I'll start off with my mats because I use a command hook just to store my mats here on the side of the unit. And this is where I store, as you can see, my 12 by 12 mats. I'll just walk around to the other side of this unit, hopefully not too fast. And you'll see this is where I store my 12 by 24 mats. So I really like storing them this way, it keeps them nice and flat and take, keeps them out of the way. It doesn't take up much space and they're nice and handy if I need to use them. Okay, so that's the mats. Moving on, first of all, to the pegboard. This is Ikea and all the accessories are from Ikea. First of all, I've got my tools. You'll see my scrape tool, my scoring tool, scissors, weeder, scraper, tweezers, that kind of thing along here. This purple tape here, if you're not a paper crafter, you may not have come across this product from iCraft before. I got it in a set with, with the Pixie Spray from scrapbook.com as a set because they're made by the same people and they're great for just holding down projects on your mats and I keep them you can reuse the tape more than once it's nice and strong but at the same time it won't rip your paper the pixie spray if you've not used this it's another tip with your mats because I know most of us will wash the mats with dishwashing liquid to get them clean and sticky again but after so long they don't stay sticky there's only so many times you can wash them iPhone personally so this pixie spray is actually made for stenciling so it makes your stencils tacky so you can hold it in place while um, you're making a creation with them so this is like a tacky spray so I have I've also used this for my Cricut mats to then hold things in place the other things on my pegboard this is just some um, alcohol spray it's only two dollars from Bunnings so that's obviously for, for cleaning any surfaces before applying my vinyl and then some talcum powder, which again, um, if you're a Cricut user um, or any electronic die cutting machine, obviously, you also apply. But this is really good for sprinkling over if you've got any weeding to do with intricate cuts. So I use that for that. The rest of the stuff is probably the We Are Memory Keepers. So I've got the some of the foil quill foils here. And on this side, I've got the Idiswap Mink, um, which also works just as well with my foil quill from where memory keepers these are all my pens from the fabric quill and in here I've got like my glue quill my singe quill some more fabric these are the washable and bleaching pens that you get in this set for the fabric quill this was just one of the pens Cricut pens themselves that I got when I bought my machine my maker along here is some glitter that I got for my glue quill as well for adhering onto that Got my little Cricut Cutie from my mystery box. If you've not seen my video on that, I'll put a link. And this is the Armour Etch Cream as well for engraving onto glass. I'm not sure the exact name of this, that Cricut. I think it's a true craft knife, but this is super sharp craft knife that I just keep here. And I also keep, this isn't, Cricut do do a cutting mat obviously, but this is just an old cheap one that I've had. And I just keep that tucked under my Cricut maker so it's ready for use if I need it. Now, I do have a cover on my Cricut Maker, obviously, to keep the dust off, but I didn't want a fabric one. I know there's lots of designs in Cricut Design Studio and you can buy them online and whatnot, but um, if you are interested in a bit more information on how I made this transparent vinyl cover, let me know. Um, I am considering whether or not to sell these in my Etsy store ready-made or the pattern or just do a YouTube tutorial on it. So if anybody's interested in that, please let me know. And then just in here, I've got some of that leftover purple tape I've used before on a project, ready for reuse, and a little ball of aluminium foil, um, just for sharpening my five fine point blade as well. 
Oh, and just quickly at the back, because Cricut Maker does have a USB point, I always keep my charger here for my camera batteries as well, so that's out the way. This second shelf here, it's just got my external hard drive for backups and some cables and things, and so not necessarily Cricut related on that. I'm just going to move you across to my other pegboard. This is where I also keep some of the Cricut supplies. So a lot of these are from the mystery box, um, but the couple on the left hand side are what I purchased separately. So, so the teal one and the blue one are what I bought separately. The rest of it came out of the mystery box. So I've just kept them here. I don't actually like the storage of these tubes. I, I, I prefer flat 12 by 12 storage, which you'll see in a second. So I'm not probably going to be purchasing any Cricut branded supplies for my maker anytime soon because of the way they sell them. So I've just put them on this side of the craft room out of the way for now. The majority of my supplies are in two of these drawers here. So I've just got them sectioned off. Um, a lot of this stuff here is, as I mentioned, from the We Are Memory Keepers. I've done a series of videos on those. I've, and these are some more fold sheets that they sell that I use with that. These are just some bits and bobs. I want to make some faux leather earrings. So those are just some supplies for that. I did get one of the quills. You'll see it's done in the packaging. So I've not actually used that yet. So I may do a video on that actually. This little tub. So this is my lot of weeding ring. I think it's meant to hold nail polish. But you can, um, you can get these on Amazon. Um, that was kind of place. It was only a few dollars. And um, when you're weeding, you can put your little bits in the top here. So that's really useful. Just some more masking tape, bits and bobs of scraps I keep in here as well. And then just a brayer. This is just, although it's obviously meant for paint, I use this just to make sure that the vinyl or paper is stuck down on my mat. This side, these are my bits of transfer tape, because obviously you can reuse these. So I just keep these different size ones just tagged on with here. This was on my peg pegboard originally, um, but I've got them a bit closer to hand in the drawer now. Uh, when I see um, things online, whether Facebook or Pinterest, I do screenshots and I take, when I'm next doing my photographs, I'll get these printed off as well. You can see I've just put them on a split ring. So these are just some little top tips and reminders of what mat to use for when and paper flower sizes, that kind of thing. So I just keep these in the drawer as well. This little case, um, I can't remember which Facebook group I was on. But someone actually posted a free design for this. Um, and as you can see, it's just a little holder for your blades and things. So um, it fits nicely in this box. I think this is a 5 by 7 photo box. I like that storage idea. I've got kind of miscellaneous cricketing things that I have to hand. And then this drawer is just full of my supplies. So what I generally do is keep all of my scraps in this little baggie here. Go to these first before using a brand new 12 by 12 sheet. But I did order a multi-pack from Amazon. Um, and I can't remember which seller it was. So I'm not even going to try and find that to link. Because I bought these when I first got my maker um, back in November last year. So you can see it came in a good array. array. There was matte, there's gloss, there's metallics. Um, every colour you can imagine. Um, the colours that I don't think I'll use or don't like, they're the ones I've been using for when I've been doing etching on glass because you basically have etching on glass, still print out as normal on vinyl, attach it and then in the negative space you apply the cream. But you can see this is going to last me so long. We get so many in this that um, it was a great little find and it's, they fit perfectly in these Alex drawers underneath all of my vinyl so this side is kind of my basics and this side is where I keep my more specialized stuff so what I'll do is I'll take these out for now so it can be easier me one-handed to show you what's in this drawer so that's on my vinyl I mainly use vinyl or my pattern paper in my um, Cricut so that's why they're on top then I've got the rest of my transfer tape again I got these from Amazon um, and they've absolutely been fine I think they'll last me a lifetime and then I also got this from Amazon as well when I first ordered my Cricut. I'll just quickly open this for you so you can see. So this is the heat transfer vinyl. Um, it came with the Teflon sheets. It's got the instructions for all kinds of um, machines, not just the Cricut. And again, I think that's going to last me such a long time. But that's all the HTV on that side. And on this side, this is some of this is Cricut supplied stuff. So first package is all the acetate sheets. I absolutely love acetates. 
these are obviously great to use on my etching quill. You can see here you can emboss, cut, stamp, paint, all that kind of stuff on these transparent sheets. Little shaker pockets with them. All that good stuff. Quickly taking these out of the baggie as well. It's so difficult one-handed. I've got a couple of sets of sticker paper here. So one's glossy and one is matte. So this is the one I make my own stickers, um, which has proven really useful with the American Crafts Digitals that I've downloaded. So I'm able to print on this and then also with um, Cricut's got the function for print and cut so I can print on this and then put it back in again and it also cuts around them so that is great for that and then this one at the back here this has got it's like clear clear sticker so it prints on that rather than having the white background so I've got all three options here and then this is the craft board so this is all the black ones so this is what I got really for making jigsaws it's really thick um, I know they sell a pack with multicolours in but they didn't have that in stock um, but I do I've made good use of that so I really like the craft paper they provide and this last one is my faux suede again this was from Cricut it's a sampler pack with a few different colours in it I think it was five different colours um, just to make little purses and things and bookmarks with so I've used those as well a few times now the only thing I'm missing is my faux leather which I don't actually keep here, I keep that with my sewing supplies. I'll just come this way and show you. So I've only got a, a couple of rolls of this. And this is obviously from the sewing section in Spotlight rather than the Cricut stuff. I know Cricut do do faux leather as well, but I really like these rose gold and metallic gold designs on here. So this was to make some little purses with. I'd love to know what you think of my little Cricut corner. If you've got any tips to share with me, I'd love to see them in the comments below. But other than that, have a great crafting weekend and I'll see you next time.